So, we have had the release of the new Apple Silicon MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 and the Air and the Mac Mini. A lot of you though were disappointed not to see a MacBook Pro 16 inch model released at the latest event. Well, I have some great news. The new M1 16 inch MacBook Pro is incredible with the info we have so far. So here are all the details about the design and specs and of course the Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch release date and price. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So earlier in November, we saw the release of the new Apple Silicon chip, the M1, what is now inside the new MacBook Air, Mac Mini, and of course the new MacBook Pro 13 inch model. Apple said in the summer that there would be a two year transition of moving all of its Macs over to its own chipsets, and this included all the iMacs and even the Mac Pro, and of course the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Today, I want to focus more on that MacBook Pro 16 inch. So just quickly then, this channel has just hit over 90,000 subscribers, what I'm over the moon about. So I've decided to do a giveaway and one lucky subscriber when we get over 100,000 subscribers will get their hands on this. It is an iPhone 12 Pro in specific blue. So when we get over 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. So make sure you're a subscriber and hit that bell notification to get some more details. And I'm also going to give you a few more details how you can enter to possibly get your hands on this later on in this video. So stay tuned. So the new M1 chipset is one of the best integrated chips out there at the moment. It has an all-in-one package of an 8-core processor, an 8-core GPU, dedicated RAM and also a neural engine. All of this is based on the A architecture like the A14 chipset that we find in an iPhone 12 and the iPad Air. The M1 chipset is giving us faster speeds in macOS and also the ability to run iOS and iPad apps natively on your new Mac. Apple said that the first Mac with an Apple Silicon chip would arrive by the end of 2020 and that was fulfilled with a new MacBook Pro, MacBook Air and Mini. So the last MacBook to be updated is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So before jumping into specs, let's take a look at the release date and price for the new Silicon M1 MacBook Pro 16 inch. So the release date for the MacBook. The specs for the new M1 chipset is amazing, but you're probably thinking that the 16 inch MacBook Pro will probably have a better M chipset or some boosted specs. Well, you are not wrong and we'll talk more about this in a mo. So from this, we are looking towards the second half of 2021, around the September and October time, so Apple can boost up their M chip. It is also most likely we'll see updates to the iPad Pro and iPad Mini in the first half of 2021 next year before updates to the Macs. But check out my iPad videos on my channel for more information about this. For price wise though, we expect the current bottom end price of a current 16 inch i7 MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM and the standard dedicated graphics inside it to be the base price for the new M1 MacBook Pro. So this is starting in at 2,399 US dollars. So before we jump into specs, that giveaway I mentioned earlier. So to be in the chance to get your hands on that new iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue, I would love to know in the comments below, are you planning on buying on one of the new Silicon Macs? And which one will you be buying? Or maybe you're going to be sticking with Windows. Let me know in the comments below and when we get over 100,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing who the lucky winner is. But make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to find out if you will be that winner. So then, for the actual specs of the 16 inch MacBook Pro, there are two possible routes that Apple could take with their top line MacBook Pro. The first option is to bring out a newer chipset of their own, and this would be called the M2 for example, and this would have a far more powerful dedicated graphics chip inside it, compared to say the current M1. 
It's also possible that Apple may just keep the M1 and just add a few more cores to it and also the graphics cores as well to make it more powerful and call this the M1X or the M1Z, what we've seen before with the Apple A-Line. Now this does sound like a good idea, however I believe and a lot of other people believe Apple are just not there yet with creating their own super powerful M chips ready for the MacBook Pro 16 inch next year. The more likely scenario what we'll see is that we'll have a MacBook Pro 16 inch with an M1 chip inside it and that will be combined with a dedicated graphics card most likely to be supplied by AMD and be a mobile version of their new big navi chipsets that AMD announced earlier on this year. We've got to remember though a key fact about the M1 processor and that the M1 chip already is more powerful in CPU speed than the top line Intel i9 chipset inside the most powerful 16 inch MacBook Pro available right now. This top end MacBook Pro at the moment has a Geekbench 5 multi-score of 6869 where the MacBook Pro 13 inch which just been announced with the new Apple M1 chip inside it has a score of 7288. It is looking likely that Apple will keep this chip inside the MacBook Pro 16 inch and maybe tweak it to give it a little bit more power of the region of say 7500 in Geekbench 5. Then this will be combined with a dedicated graphics card and it overall will make the experience a super powerful one. Another point to remember is that the 16 inch MacBook Pro currently does have two graphic chips inside it. One is an integrated Intel chip and the other is an AMD 5000M series graphics card. The AMD graphics card only kicks in when high intensive graphics demanding tasks are needed but for the most part you are actually running on the dedicated Intel graphics to run normal tasks like web browsing, watching videos or looking up pictures on the web. Personally, I believe the same setup will happen in the new MacBook Pro 16 inch. We will get the M1 chipset inside the MacBook Pro and for the most part we'll be reliant on this chip and the M1 graphics to browse the web, watch videos, look at pictures and maybe edit a few documents. However, when more intensive graphics tasks are performing, then the MacBook Pro would switch over to an AMD graphics card. So you're probably wondering at this point, well what graphics card will AMD and Apple put inside their new 16 inch MacBook Pro? We believe it will be a mobile chip version of the new Big Navi AMD graphics card that have just been announced. The new Big Navi desktop graphics cards can run up to 16 teraflops and it's believed the mobile version of this graphics card will run at around 10 teraflops. To put this into perspective, the M1 chipset graphics runs at 2.5 teraflops and the current AMD 5600M graphics card in the current 16 inch MacBook Pros runs at 5.3 teraflops. So combining a 2.5 teraflops integrated graphics card on the M1 with the AMD dedicated graphics running at 10 teraflops is going to be absolutely incredible. Now one other note to add here is Apple love to claim how efficient and how great battery life is inside their MacBooks. As the M1 is very power efficient and most of the tasks of everyday life will be using this chipset then the battery life inside the MacBook Pro will be incredibly high and we expect a battery life of more than 22 hours for light tasks. However, you'll be safe in the knowledge that if you do have to do more powerful dedicated graphics cards tasks, then AMD have done a fantastic job in making their chipset more energy efficient in the last few years. So when you do have to do heavy graphical tasks, the battery shouldn't feel as much pressure as it currently does with the current Intel CPU and AMD graphics cards inside the MacBook Pro. It is likely there will be an option to pick the M1 chipset with the combination of maybe two different big navi AMD graphics cards just like Apple offer right now with their graphics cards for the current 16 inch MacBook Pro. It is also likely there will be choices of between 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAMs for the 16 inch. This does mean the current 64 gigabytes of RAM might go missing just like the 32 gigabyte RAM option went on the old Intel 13 inch MacBook Pro. 
probe. This is possibly because the M1 chipset can handle multitask far better than an Intel processor can running macOS. For design wise, it is most likely we will not get a new design on the 16 inch MacBook Pro anytime soon. The reasoning behind this is because Apple have recently tweaked and updated their MacBook Pro 16 inch line when they updated the screen from a 15.4 inch to a 16 inch display and also slightly changed the body design at the same time. It is most likely that Apple will be keeping this design for some time just like they do on many of their other products. For example, the iPhone X or X all the way up to the iPhone 11 Pro was basically the same design and Apple will probably be doing the same here when they add the M1 chip inside the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So just also a quick recap of when to expect new Macs over the next year or so. So following the Mac Mini, the MacBook Air and the 13 inch MacBook Pro, Leaker Ming-Chi Ku believes the next Mac to gain an Apple Silicon processor will be the MacBook Pro 16 inch and with that will be the rumoured 14 inch MacBook Pro. In addition to the new processor, this 14 inch model will gain a completely new form factor design according to Ku. Those Macs are likely though to be updated until mid 2021 though. Ku also suggests that these new MacBook Pro models won't ship until the late second quarter of 2021 or the third quarter of 2021. If you're wondering where the Mac desktops figure up in this lineup, Ku has made no announcement relating to Apple's plan to transition desktop Macs such as the iMac. With the iMac just being updated with newer Intel processors in August time, it does not seem likely we'll get an update to those Macs for quite a while. So it seems likely the iMac won't see Apple Silicon processors until late 2021 or even 2022. Ku is usually accurate though. He said back in March 2020 before Apple announced a transition from Intel that the new ARM based Macs could arrive before the end of 2020 and he was right. So, are you excited about the new Silicon 16 inch MacBook Pro? And will you be getting one soon after launch? Or will you get another M1 MacBook? Let me know what model you plan to buy. Well guys, that is the latest and greatest info we have on the 16 inch MacBook Pro Silicon line at this stage. If we get any more news, of course we will share it with you. Don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit that subscribe button, followed by the bell. Until next time guys, see ya.